What's up YouTube and welcome back. Today is part three of the Sonos cinema system that I want to talk about uh, because I learned something a couple of days ago, which was that I'm not a tech guy, so I didn't know that you have to, <laughs> I thought you just have to install the system and it will be Dolby Atmos right away. But that is not how it goes. So what I'm going to show you for all your all of you that uh, have bought the system and um, maybe didn't know this either but um, in the app you can see uh, in the Sonos S2 app you can see uh, when you play something on the TV what kind of sound that comes out of the Sonos system so I will show you so when you go into the app and you look at this what's playing right now on the TV the gets real Dolby Atmos from the uh, TV but I'm just gonna show you what it says when I play something on the TV before I change the setting on the TV I just want to show you so we're gonna just play something uh, right now and see and as you can see it says stereo PCM which means that I've been playing things in stereo mode and not but in and not uh, in Dolby Atmos mode uh, which means that I've been playing stuff in stereo mode with the Sonos SL and the Sonos 5 and a guy on YouTube wrote to me in my first video that I posted. I'm just gonna go and see. Um, so, this guy wrote to me a couple of days ago on YouTube. His name is ASMR, Pages of Bliss. And he told me that, that you have to do some settings on the TV, which I didn't know. And I don't know much about text in general especially the sound systems but I'm trying to learn and what I learned was that you have to set up your TV for the sound because I, I only thought that you had to buy the sound install it and that's it <laughs> and the Dolby Atmos will come so I'm gonna show you what settings you have to do on the TV for Dolby Atmos to appear on the Sonos S2 app so let's go so what you have to do is go to settings and go to sound and of course your sound has to be in HDMI ARC and then you go to by the way this is an LG OLED TV so the settings for me is from an LG OLED perspective so uh, then you have to go to DTV audio setting and that has to be on auto and as you can see here I had the when when I showed you just right now uh, the in the app it was digital sound out was on PCM which is stereo so it has to be on auto and the e-arc must be on and now when you have these settings on the sound will be totally different when it comes to Dolby Atmos and Dolby sound in general because what I thought was Dolby Atmos was amazing but with the real Dolby sound coming out of the speakers it will blow your mind because I thought ah it cannot be much better than what I uh, had at first, but I'll tell you, do the settings. Okay, so we will watch a clip from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And this scene has a lot of surround, good surround sound that coming out of every speaker. So let's try this out and now we're going to start at 
50%. And then I'm going to show you what the apps is so you can see what the difference is. Oh, because Rocket stole some of their batteries. Dude! Right. He didn't steal some of those. I don't know why they're after us. What a mystery this is. <laughs> So as you can see, there's a big difference in stereo mode and in Dolby Atmos mode. Because the sound was good with uh, stereo mode, but it wasn't as clear as it is now with the both the Sonos 5. Because I can tell you, I am amazed by it. So I would highly, highly recommend this system for everybody that's want to buy it two sonos five one arc and one sub uh, my apartment is not that big but i'm thinking about maybe next week buying the another sub gen 3 so i have two sub gen 3s two sonos five and one arc to see how that sound but I don't know my neighbors I think they already hate me with all this I have right now so stay tuned maybe I got it but we have got a lot of things we're gonna unbox this week but press a like what you think about the video and see you all in the next one